Hello everyone, this is Roman I want to show you today my new plugin is called Magic Replace. With this plugin you can change any object in Cinema 4D very easy. So let's show you how nice plugin and easy it is to use. As you can see here I have make a project very simple, here skin. So uh, if I open this you can see I have very complex uh, hierarchy. Okay, so I want to make more complex here. Okay, let's put this here. And I put this one here. Just I make something more complex here. Uh, I want to show you uh, because when you replace one object, to do this by hand, you need a lot of time and also it's very complex to do this if you have something like this but with this plugin I make, you can make in no time so let's open the match replace here ok, let's select, uh, let's make a sphere here and uh, let's put the sphere like a source so I want this sphere to replace any object I select so let's say I want to replace this one just I select and click replace, done and also, uh, as you notice here, uh, my hierarchy is don't change. So, for example, let's now go to the list here, and I click this cube here. You can see here I also have some cube inside the hierarchy. Uh, let's make more complex. You can see here. Uh, just I select the cube and I click replace. You can see it's replaced, and my hierarchy is don't touch. It's don't change. It's, you can see it's still the same. So I can make very easy replace. You can see just I select the cube by one and I click replace. I select multi cubes if I want and I click replace. And also maybe I want something else. Let's say Turus. I put the Turus in, in the source. I select this cube and I click replace. Done. Also you can do uh, something else. Let's say for example this cube have animation. So I make animation here. Okay, you can see here I have the animation. And let's now click replace. And you can see here my animation is removed. This is because uh, it's don't, uh, you don't check the keep animation. When you keep animation, you check the keep animation and you click replace, it's also keep my animation. So it's replace the object, keep animation, and now you can see I have uh, the Turus with animation. And uh, this is also working with multi object. Let's say, for example, I have another animation here, uh, or I have another animation here. Ok, so as uh, you can see I have two animations here, one here and one here So I can select the cube I want And I click replace And you can see done Ok, another thing you can do is uh, Ok, let's make undo Also you can make undo, you can see So you make something by mistake Just undo And uh, you have everything original Ok, now uh, let's make something more complex Let's make a sphere here uh, let's make animation in the sphere ok so you can see here I have uh, animation this sphere I put like a source but now you need to be careful because uh, this sphere is not have a pivot so when I click now replace here in this cube you see also it's jump you see one jump this is because uh, this sphere is not have uh, a pivot so to do to fix this very easy you and this is like my pivot so I can move the sphere when I go on and now you can see the animation is don't change ok so like this now I, I put the, uh, the source like uh, the pivot here and now for example I can select some cubes and I click replace and I have an animation originally nice and you can do more complex stuff let's say I want this sphere have also uh, here uh, the form a uh, surface uh, sorry a uh, formula ok formula so now you can see ok let's uh, f do some here change ok you can see here my sphere it's have animation and also have formula and let's say I want to apply this here and here so click replace and done you can see I have uh, everything nice ok let's go here and replace replace here you can see still working great ok now I want to show you uh, one idea you can do for example let's say uh, this is another skin here I have uh, let's say I want all this cube to replace uh, but uh, without need to every time to go to source and replace and this stuff so to do this very easy just we need to make an instance object so I make an instance object here ok uh, I make a null and I put instance object like this now the next thing I need to do is I put the instance like a source I click this here eyes and I select all the cubes just I double click so we select everything 
let's just right click replace now all the cubes replace with the instance object and now the next thing I need to do is in, inside to null I can put any object like so let's put here a sphere uh, let's put here a formula uh, you can see here now uh, with help of this plugin you can change uh, replace all the object by use instance and now very easy to change with null and this other and you can change here and it change and also replace the other objects so you get an idea for example how very easy you can use okay another example I want to show you is uh, here the another skin is uh, using the nitro bake uh, to bake the cubes here and see now how is this, uh, for example replace all these cubes uh, with other objects so let's open the magic replace I select here let's say a sphere like a source I go here to the I select uh, the cubes or you can do for example open the hardware and select all cl right click and select all the children uh, there is a lot of ways to do uh, and then you click replace uh, but you need to keep the animation and now you can see I have replaced all this cube with these spheres and you can do again the same we do first time for example uh, you make the instance object here uh, you use like a source uh, and in instance object uh, you put a, a null in here and then you go to the ID to select all the spheres and replace and now you can replace with any object you like just you put it in null okay I p use now Turus and I don't know maybe uh, to replace with a platonic okay you can see very easy so yep this is a new plugin I hope you like and find it useful thank you for watching this video uh, more plugins uh, coming soon and uh, this plugin is free bear you can find in my site netrofodipoy.com thank you for watching